this your girl Earl from Embrace and Reborn. And I'm going to tell y'all, I just got back. I know part of me might be cut off and that's okay. I hope you might can still see Reva. And even if you can't, that's okay as well because technically she's still in this same outfit. But I told y'all I didn't want to take her out this outfit here. And I did it enough because I told y'all when we had did this outfit, I had her on the white with the lighter pink polo tennis. And I told y'all I think the darker pink one looked better with it. So I did change her and put her in the darker pink polo tennis. But when I told y'all this little Asama outfit of Reva, and I had her in the store like this here. I took her in my sling, but then people wanted to see her, so I took her out the sling. And oh my goodness. I took her out to Wines of Pine and Chuck. I went out to pay some bills, and some people been asking me to bring her and Canella. Poor Canella still in her bag. Let me see some. Oh, I can't even take her out. But y'all saw her early this morning. Well, better yet, let me take this blanket out. Lay this across my lap and lay Reva down across my lap. Because I want to show y'all a couple of things we got today. And I hope all these things show in the hall. But I went to pay some bills. And while I was out paying the bills, I stopped, decided since I've been about to pay the water bill, I've been about, oh, my hands are dry. Great goodness. But um, I went to the Once Upon a Child as well as Ross. I'm a stu, I got a quick video of Jules. Y'all remember when Jules had those puppies? Those puppies not even six weeks old. And when I tell y'all that puppy look like a great damn puppy, she's, I think he's going to be fatter than Jules. Because uh, the foot and the legs are already fatter than Jules. But I'm going to try to get a quick video of him playing with the new toy. Because I bought him this Gorilla today from Ross. And they had these for $5.99. But, but it's supposed to be that rough, um, and he say chew armor, reinforced with chew armor. I'm going to tell you, they don't put those chew through everything. You got to get the cone toys or these rough, tough toys for them. So I got that. And my niece got a birthday coming up next week, Friday. And um, Orlando, Florida, she'll be one. And she's having a um, unicorn birthday party. But I'm going to show the thing, a couple of things I got her because some of you all have toddler dolls. And y'all can go get these same things for y'all toddlers. But um, I found this little um, mini set. And all these and all the things came from Ross. Uh, the mini mouse set here. And these, this is a size 24 months. I got her 24 months. And it might have been 18 months. And it says so cute with the mini on it. I really hope all this is in frame. Because usually I have mom here with me. And my co-pilot is not here, so with that being said, I'm going to try to do the best I can. And I got this Calvin Klein set. Oh, goodness. As well. And then see the thing about them, you have to get like lightweight things because in South Florida, they don't wear no winter clothes. I think they really they wear short pants all year round. Seem like down there because they come down here and shorts um, for Christmas, you know. I never see such a thing. And then I got this little um, Tommy Hilfiger set here with the bell sleeves with the denim top. Got that. And I'll be putting those as. Um, Santa her for her birthday. And I even got, um, I found, Darren this looked long when I got home. God, it looks shorter than still. I hope ain't nobody switch sides on me. You know what it says? Newborn. There's a newborn Carter. That's for, um, Jonathan. But I, I'm telling you, that really looks long. Ooh, I might have to save that for somebody, baby, if it, if it's too big for him. And I got Daniel this here. Bohemian doll lover asked to see Daniel in the Sunday best. That's a casual best, that ain't a Sunday best here, but 
he only have um he do have a set that he never wore so he'll have that reva got a rose gold a rose rose gold with the, um this bronzy looking gold and white church dress and these bowls here match perfect and i got these from ross and they buy bowl fancy these are headbands and these two were $4.99 I hope all is showing the frame. I got Reva these little Disney um socks and hairband. Cause she always well this they ain't Disney, this Minnie Mouse. She always missed Minnie Power Tuesday. Always. Um because I don't have much Disney or Minnie Mouse clothes, but I did get her a set. Of course that don't match it. But uh full Minnie Power Tuesday. And oops, all right, come on, get off. And I'm gonna show y'all why I found that Walmart. Oops, little pants on fall off the thing. Walmart got these little below sets here, and they so soft. Oh my god, they soft. But even though this is October, it's still 90-something degrees here. But I don't know when she'll be wearing these. <laughs> we got that set. And this is her little Minnie Mouse set that I found her. And she'll be get wearing this one day. It's a cute Minnie. Found that for real. And with that same mini set, I found these little bead shoes. I was looking for some khaki shoes. And went right there today and found khaki shoes. I got these from um, Once Upon a Child. They buy Baby Gap, size zero. Y'all know we Clemson fanatics. I got these little Clemson um, booties here. I got little man say I love mommy. That'll be his little um, Halloween thing. And I have a couple of sisters in the community who have asked me about socks. And I can tell y'all, they aren't going up on the socks. But I first originally bought these socks for Reva. They were a dollar something. Now they got the socks $2.19 a piece. Now for those who have a hard time finding socks, for the um, child, you want me to pick up socks? If you if you want me to go back to, because it is a certain time of year they do take all the socks down, and they don't come back out into Easter, but they got them in like the hot pink and white, light pink and white, white and black, red and white, cream on cream, white on white. Oh goodness, pink and white. White on white, more cream. But if you want to, you can pick the money. Um, just message me on Instagram if you need me to pick up something for you. As long, and but I'm not picking up nothing without the money. Because um, but if you would like to put the money in my PayPal account as well as shipping and handling for me to send it back to you, I don't mind going to my store to pick it up for you. But I got some people on Instagram. When I do these videos or hauls or videos showing things in these stores, I don't like I, I always tell y'all if if I don't I don't mind doing anything for anybody because everybody needs somebody to help them at some time and you never know when you need a person until you need them. But the fact still remains I'm not going out here shopping for you all without any money put into my account now, if you put the money in my account by all means i don't mind running back to the store for you but asking me to get things for you and your friends and nobody putting a dollar and i don't even first of all i don't even know them from adam house cat and and you know like i said i don't mind doing things to help people but surely you don't think that I, i'm rich or i got money just growing out of the 
you know, out of the tree that I'm just going out here and just um just buy up things for just anybody. That dog ain't about to hunt. I'm gonna tell you that right now. But like I say, if you wanna contact me on message me on Instagram and say, Earl, can you pick me up some of them socks? I want X amount of pairs. And like I said, they're $2.19. I have to get a little bubble envelope and I can and but as long as you put a couple of dollars for shipping and handling and what it, and I will put your receipt in from the post office as well as from the store. And what I don't spend, I, I will return because you do know PayPal do charge fees. But I'll put whatever change I have left over in the envelope and mail it back to you because I'm not trying to keep anything from you. But anyway, that's all I want to say. I got her these little newborn, and these shoes here got the little sparkles on it. It's like an off-white with sparkles all over the shoes. It's glittery, and then it got the little rosette with silver sparkles, and then the little lasting path cross that fit got the silver sparkles. And I got these for once upon a child, and these shoes were $1.50. But, oh, and the khaki shoes, the Gap shoes, were $2.50. But this is how Reva got, because somebody said, well, Earl, how many shoes Reva has? I don't know how many shoes she has because I have actually a big rubber maid container of shoes for all of my babies, girls, the boys, and everything. So that's why y'all always seeing them with different shoes to go about just about any and everything. Because at our Once Upon a Child, and we got two in my city, they have shoes from size zero on up. And the shoes can run anywhere from a dollar something to ten dollars, I think, depending on the brands and um, whatnot. I got two more things in here, but I'm not gonna show those because those are the little Halloween um, little costume, and y'all will see that in the Halloween video. But. Oh, the rest of that was some paintbrushes. I got this little sleeper here. Actually, I got two sleepers. One was a newborn, and one is, oh God, I think three or six. But one of them is a gift. But I bought these here, and I'm not sure how they're going to work. Let me get Canela out this thing. Oh, look, Canela, you're holding on to your thing, but. Canela, I'm going to have all your little socks falling off one of your little feet. <laughs> oh, Lord, Canela needs little newborn socks. Not newborn. These are actually preemie socks, but they're regular preemie size, not micro preemie size. So they're a little big on her. But I'm going to take this hairband off of Canela. And this hairband is a, the same hairband that fit Reva, but I just double them when it come to Canela. But y'all... I found these ponytail holders here at Ross, and they were $2.99, and they buy OMG fake fur. Now, you know me, I'm over the top, <laughs> always, always doing the most. Now, yeah, I'm, I'm a C, because I told you I buy ponytail holders also to make headbands for Canela. Now, I be dirty, they got these things here, and then, not, oh, I got a sausage right here, thank God. And I was thinking, these will make some cute little headbands for Canela if they don't hold her head too tight. So let's try this. Oh, snap. Check out Canela with her fur mouth. <laughs> little headband. Now, y'all play. How cute is that? Oh, and look at Canela with her fur. Now, y'all play with it for the winter. Let me tell y'all something. Y'all will just not see Canela. And little, um, OMG. Oh, Canela about to smoke this winter. <laughs> I love it. Oh, my goodness. And if they had more, I would have picked up more because I know a couple of other sisters in the community got um, this doll as well. But check out your Ross. Check out your Walmart. And like I said, any little ponytail scrunches, you can use those for hairbands for your, um, Micro preemie child, and yeah, you take your regular newborn hairband because preemie pride and the wooby babies and all them they charge you quite a good bit for these 
for a, a micro premium headband it just don't make sense when you can just double your regular headbands you already have in existence in your closet and just double them up and you got a headband for your micro premium i'm just saying you got to be creative when you in this community and anything to save you a dollar you know i'm always willing to let y'all know what's out there where you can find things at and i don't mind sharing things but and you know because on my channel anybody know from the time i started youtube back in november anytime i come across something or i purchase something or anybody has asked me read this from a thrift store a goodwill a regular store a yard sale if y'all ask me well earl where did you find such and such I said, well, I find it on eBay. I find it at Marshalls. I find it at TG Maxx, Ross, Brothers, wherever. I always shared everything. And I'd be so overwhelmed when I ask somebody off of YouTube, you know, where did you get such and such from? Or could you share the link? Just say, for instance, just the other day, um, what's the girl? Bella Blessing. She was saying, um, a site where she go at and sell some of her things to make a little extra change and lord knows i do ha i tell anybody i got the worst kind of shopping addiction anybody in my family can tell you I, I i got a really bad spending addiction but um but i got a lot of things i need to let go and sell or whatever and like she said she used that money to to invest back into getting her, you know, newer rebounds and everything, which I don't know. I now I would say I wouldn't buy a doll from somebody else at this point because I would if I see something I like I will buy. And there are a couple of people that I do want a doll from them in my collection. Some of them I've asked some people off of YouTube I've asked to purchase dolls from before. And they never would, would sell me well with those ones. I'm, I refuse to ask ever again. They never sell me before. And I, and I don't like to ask repetitious thing over and over and over. And I've asked, um, and just like I said, getting back to Bella Blessing, the way she had pronounced things, you know, I know sometimes that the way I pronounce things, because everybody always think I'm from one of the Virgin Islands or something. It's kind of hard to understand me sometimes, so that's why I like to put links down below because I can, um, you know, just in case somebody don't understand what I'm saying. But I can't understand. I can. I was spelling it wrong from the way she was pronouncing it, and so I asked her because she shared a link to where she um thing, and she right ain't even for five minutes she responded right back to me. And then you got a couple of YouTubers I've asked the same question more than once, more than twice, and they have yet to respond to me. So with that being said, obviously they don't want me to know. But um, to each his own because everybody don't have the same values, everybody don't want to share. And it's, But I really think it's sad because actually the store makes more than one. And surely you don't think you just made the things just for your dolls. But, you know, it's so selfish because so many people in YouTube saying that they don't want somebody to steal their essence or they don't want this person to all to look like them. And I just think it's utterly ridiculous because the stores make more than one. I don't mind sharing anything. I when, when people, when I got LaWanda, you know how many people contacted me about who did LaWanda for me? One lady asked, do I mind her? Get, I said, listen. Go on my Instagram page, take pictures off, you screenshot the pictures off my Instagram page and tell her you want one identical to this one here. Feel free to do it. I don't mind. I don't care. You know, I want the artists to get more business. Otherwise, I wouldn't be promoting them or telling them. And I like to see my people do good. And, you know, and we all do good in this um, industry, really, regardless of what race you are or anything, you know. And, it, and I just think it's sad when some people just, just don't want to share things. But anyway, to each his own. I can't stress myself up on other people way of thinking, other people way of feeling about things. But I just really think it's sad. I just wanted to mention that. But um, I just wanted to come on because after sharing this morning about um, 
Denise, mom, this thing, I mean, this thing bothered me half of the morning. You know, oh gosh. I, I just, you know, and then even talking to Cassandra today, and she was saying how she lost both of her parents when she was really young. That's why she was so close to her sister and and losing her sister. But since that sister had gone, her and her other sister have gotten even closer. But, you know, and she said, Earl, don't cry. Don't be sad. I mean, she in a good place. And, 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 I, and I mean, because I take everything to heart and... It's just the idea that, you know, because I swear I have panic attacks about losing minds all the time. But um, I pray all goes well with um, her and her family. I say my love. I'll be texting her, calling her, checking up on her on the regular. Like I say, I hope y'all go over to her page. I, I linked it in the previous video. So go look that video up and go over to her page and sing your condolences. But her mom did pass away this morning. That's my cell phone. So anyway, this your girl Earl from Embracing Reborn. Thanks for watching.